last always Saints Troubles don't last always Saints The troubles they don't last always Saints Your troubles don't last always Troubles don't last always Saints Your troubles don't last always Troubles don't last always Saints, your troubles don't last always Do you believe that joy is coming in the morning? I do Do you believe that Yahweh's word is true? You, you believe? Do you believe that God really loves you? I mean, He really loves you. Well, take it from me when I say that His love for you is true. But you need to remember that troubles don't last always. Say. Your troubles don't last always Troubles don't last always Saints, your troubles, they don't last always Do you believe that Joy is coming in the morning? I do Do you believe that Yahweh's word is true. Tell me, do you, do you believe? Do you believe that God really loves you? I mean, He really loves you. Well, take it from me when I say His love for you is true. Oh, yes, His love for you is true. Yes, His love for you is true. Oh, His love for you is true. But you need to remember. Troubles don't last always. Your troubles don't last always. Come on, saints, we gotta keep the faith, cause troubles don't last always. Saints, your troubles don't last always. Saints, your troubles don't last always. Saints, your troubles, they don't last always. Hallelujah. Praise your way. Praise your way, saints. Is your way good? Yahweh good. Glory, to, glory be Yahweh. Let's all remain still and have a word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, we pray to your precious son's name, Yeshua Messiah. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Yahweh, for this day that wasn't promised to us, Father thank Yahweh. We you. ask you to look upon the saints that are on their way tonight, Father Yahweh. Keep them uh, safe from these dangerous roads. Watch them, Father Yahweh. Keep them from the, the snares of the devil. Yes, the Lord. devil's pits, the devil's traps are everywhere. Yes, we ask that you look upon Apostle Washington. And, and, and who's in and all the saints in Mexico, yeah. keep them safe, Father Yahweh. The saints in Lubbock, keep them safe from uh, that mean old devil. Always got that trap. <laughs> I pray to your precious son's name, Yeshua the Messiah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna read out of Psalms 117. Oh, praise Yahweh, all you nations, yes. praise him, all ye people, Hallelujah. for his mercy and kindness is great towards us. Yes. The truth of Yahweh endure forever. Praise ye Yahweh. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen. All right. Um, Y'all can be seated. I want to thank Yahweh for this day that wasn't promised to us. I want to thank Yahweh for the bishops that, uh, that I'm, I'm you know, proud to be here to learn everything I can from them. Amen. Amen. Because Yahweh works through them. Yahweh works through all of us if we're right. That's why it's always, it's always worth 
listening, taking heed to what Yahweh says when it comes to the, when it comes to the pulpit, because you don't know when your last day is going to be. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. When, when, uh, you know, when do you, when do you, uh, what do you, what, I'm sorry. What I'm trying to say is, what makes you think that the next day is promised to you? That's right. Amen? Amen? The next day is not promised to you. It's not promised to me. That's why it's always worth to strive to be right. I strive every day when I go to work. I'm around sinners all day. That's right. But I don't have to take heed to what they say. I have to take heed what Yahweh says. Amen? Amen. And, and you know, and like it, like it says, and uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to share something right, right quick before I hand it over to the bishops. Um, let me see here. I think it's because I was meditating on this today, and if yeah, we don't mind, I'm going to. Uh, I want to share this with y'all. Where is it? I think it's Isaiah, Isaiah 59. And this is, well, this is for people who don't want to obey Yahweh. I just want to share this with you. Isaiah 59. I'm, I'm trying to get there. My phone's not doing exactly what I want it to do. All right, we'll just turn it over. All right. Um, all right, let's all rise. Uh, I'll speak this next time when I'm ready. Well, let's all rise and receive um, Apostle Hurley by saying praise Yahweh. Yahweh saints, we give Yahweh thanks and praise to be in his house one more night. And thanking Yahweh for Brother Chris opening up service. He had some to share, but he got to be quicker, like they say. Amen. Amen. So that will be the next uh, verse you can read at the beginning of the next service, Yahweh's will. Amen. You can all be seated. It's a good night to be in Yahweh's house. <clears throat> I truly thank Yahweh for the work that's going on in Mexico. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Everybody here tonight? Amen. 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 Yeah, there's a work in Mexico going on. And it's a good work. Amen. Scriptures are being fulfilled. And, you know, the, the work of an apostle is being done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm thanking Yahweh for Apostle Washington, how he's always <clears throat> paved the way. Like Apostle Paul told in his letter to the Corinthians, Be ye therefore followers of me. Even as I follow the Messiah. Amen. So we know that the Messiah, all the, he ascended back up to heaven. He's not here in the flesh right now. Amen. We also know that the original apostles, they have all died. And they're all waiting for the day of resurrection at this point. Amen. But we have some living apostles right now. Amen. And we have Apostle Harvey Washington who is setting a fine example for us other apostles. <clears throat> that we must not neglect to mark. Amen? Amen. Amen? The Bible says, mark the perfect man and behold the upright. You know, the end of that person's going to be peace. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yahweh is so good to us. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to go ahead and go to Amos. Now, as you know, I'm on my way to Mexico next Monday. Or as, as some of you know. And got to be ready. Amen. Amen. There's a lot of things in life that are said in your life that you know are coming. Therefore, you have to prepare yourself. Praise Yahweh. Praise the truth of the matter is there's a lot of things that we are aware that are coming. And yet we're not preparing ourselves as we ought to. Amen. 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 Is that right, saints? Yes, yes. I mean, I'm sure you're a little hesitant to say amen. That's right. Because I said some of us are not preparing as we ought to. Amen. And nobody's wanting to say, yeah, I'm one of those people. <laughs> as not preparing myself as I ought to. But I'm, what I'm referring to is human nature. Without Yahweh's help. Without the help of the Holy Ghost. You know, without the church's help. <laughs> without Yahweh's help. You will be one of the ones who's not awake. Amen. Amen. The Bible speaks to the saints in a spiritual sense about being awake. Amen. Awake thou that sleepest Amen. and arise from the dead. Amen. The dead means you're not right Amen. and that you're in sin. Hallelujah. 
And that Yahweh wants to help bring you out. He wants to save you from your sins. That's why the son Yeshua Messiah was sent to save us from our sins. He's the way, the truth, the life and the light. He's all of that for us. Amen. And uh, he's the only one that can help us be fully prepared to meet Yahweh. Amen. 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 It's of the utmost importance that we do this thing by his righteousness and not our own. That we do this thing according to his works and not according to our works. Amen. 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 We have to get his works. Basically, we need to enter into him. We got to be one with Yeshua Messiah. It's not okay for Michael Hurley to stay Michael Hurley. And it's not okay for any of you to stay you. Amen? Amen. You got to be renewed. You got to be transformed in your mind. And that's why we come to church. That's why we come to this place where we grow in grace. Amen? Amen. Amen. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua Messiah. Amen? So on Amos, I want to look on Amos 7. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yahweh is always going to give us prophets, dreams, and visions. Praise Yahweh. And it's quite obvious that the Spirit of Yahweh has truly fallen upon this church in these last and evil days. Amen. Amen. All the dreams and visions that male and female are having in this church. It's amazing. You know, it's one of those kind of things... The Bible says, despise not prophesying. And there's a reason for that. The reason why the Bible says don't despise something is because you want to despise it. Amen. 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 Because you don't want all this proof that Yahweh exists. Then you might just have to worship him and serve him. And and, and it says, serve him in sincerity and in truth. Like it said in Joshua, the last service. That's beautiful. Yeshua said, Yahweh seeking for those that will worship him in spirit and in truth. And in, in, in Joshua, it says in sincerity and in truth. Amen. Same thing. Amen. You worship in him in spirit. You're, you, you're being sincere about that spirit that, you're, that you uh, are, are worshiping in. Amen. 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 I'm talking about being all out and all in. Amen? Amen. Amen. Anybody tired today? Amen. I tell you what, before I came to church, I was so tired. It just hit me <laughs> all of a sudden. And it got worse and worse. As when I, we pulled up into the parking lot, I was like, all of a sudden it hit me. And you know how you have thoughts hit you? Yes. You have a thought like, oh, my God, I should have taken a nap. Because I'm tired right about now. I get those sometimes. Oh, yeah. And then, then I was thinking, oh, I got to have a cup of coffee. Amen. You know, like I'm leaning on a cup of coffee for my strength or energy. You know, that's what my flesh wants to do. Amen. I'm like, too late now. We're right here. We just pulled up to the door. And I told my wife as we got out of the car, I said, it just hit me. I'm sleepy. And then I come into Yahweh's house. We pray as w- when we come into Yahweh's house and talk to Yahweh, make sure that we're asking Yahweh to be with us and open up our, the people's understanding and help us all to walk uprightly so we can be a, wor- a people that worships you and serves you in spirit and sincerity and in truth. I, I got up, still feeling tired, came over here to the instruments. Didn't have any idea what song I was going to sing. Amen. Amen. That's the kind of pressure that lots of people try to avoid. Amen. But when it comes down to serving Yahweh, you just got to trust that Yahweh is going to give you what you need all the time. And don't sweat any of the small stuff and just keep going. Keep pressing forward. Don't lean to your own feelings. Amen. Don't lean to your own understanding. And know, like Brother Chris just said, that Yahweh is the kind of God that quickens a mortal body. Amen. Especially if you seek to him first and not something else. Praise Yahweh. There was a king in the Old Testament named Asa. He trusted in Yahweh at first. And Yahweh gave him great victories. 
I mean, he did the unthinkable. He did what people thought could not be done. Amen. Because he trusted in Yahweh and won many battles. And then another battle came up where there was a threat. And he decided to trust in another country. And to t take things from Yahweh's city. Amen. Yeah, amen. And give it to uh, ungodly people. Yeah. And depend on them for help. Amen. And don't you know Yahweh had a prophet to come talk to Asa? And told him, because you did this thing. Yeah. You're going to lose out big time. Uh, King Asa was so angry with that prophet. That he, he, he mistreated the prophet. And you know what Yahweh did? Yahweh cursed him. And he was diseased in his feet. Amen. 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 He's one of those kings where it says he did right all the days of his life, he said. In, uh, I believe it's 2 Kings chapter 15. We don't have to go there. But. At the break of 15 to 16, it tells a whole nother story about all the bad that he did Amen. and how he died cursed. cursed. He never got better. All he had to do was, to do was say, you know, I was wrong for that. Amen. Let me turn to Yahweh and say, I'm so sorry, Yahweh, about what I did. But instead, he was so angry that Yahweh sent the prophet to him. Amen. Sound familiar Amen. as to what's been going on lately? So angry that Yahweh sent a prophet to him because he was a king. And evidently he felt like no prophet of Yahweh could come to him. So he was wroth. And did not treat the prophet right. Did not respect who was behind the prophet. Yahweh himself. Hallelujah. So his end is not good. Amen. There appears to be no hope per what is written. A lot, there's a lot of scriptures where the, the writers of the scriptures want to make sure it's clear because there's a lesson trying to be taught. Amen. That if you do this, your salvation and your standing with Yahweh is not good. Amen. 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 You do not want to be in those shoes. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. So, so we need to think about those kind of things. We may have started out doing good. I can speak for myself. I've done a lot of good. I've been praised. That ain't going to amount up to anything on the day of judgment if I decide to stop doing good. So that's a motivator for me right now. I got my mind made up that I'm not going to sin against Yahweh. That I'm going to uh, redeem all time necessary. I'm going to do everything that is right so I can stay in the faith, Amen. stay strong. And you should all do the same. Amen. 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 But in Amos 7, it tells a little bit of a story. Everything in the scriptures tells you about Yahweh's character. Y'all remember that. Hey, let's sound like a false church for a second. Say Yahweh's character. Yahweh's character. Everything in the scripture, in the scripture. tells you about Yahweh's character. And how he punishes the wicked. And he loves those that do good. Amen. Amen. Read it. Amos 7 and 1. Mm -hmm. What is it written? Yes. Thus has the Lord Yahweh. Thus hath Yahweh said. Showed unto, unto, me. unto me. Yes. And behold. Uh-huh. He formed grasshoppers. He formed. So Yahweh is showing Amos something. That's what happens in this church. I don't know. You know, I, I have a feeling that some of us, I mean, look, you know, I, you know how I know what I'm about to say is because I've done it myself. Amen. 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 I've lightly esteemed the apostles. Amen. I've lightly esteemed the prophets. Amen. Where what they said, I was like, okay, but they're just men. Amen. They could be wrong. Mm -hmm. And you know what? The reason why the devil used that on me, because it's true. A man can be wrong. Amen. But are these men wrong? Amen. That's what you have to ask yourself. Amen. And if you want to say yes, that you think that these leaders, and I'm not talking about the ones that are obviously wrong. <laughs> you understand? There are times where leaders get weak and they get wrong. Amen. 
And it's clear. Any preacher or person cussing is clearly wrong. But what I'm talking about is that you don't have any evidence, any proof, anything. But you want to doubt what is being preached here in the church because you don't like it. Because it's making you have to suffer. Because it's making you like Yeshua. Amen. And you're having to become a holy man. And having to become a holy woman. Instead of saying, stay in the way that you are right now. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Sitting here doubting the apostles. Doubting the prophets. I mean, it's an easy thing to do. Amen, saints. Amen. Because you're human. And you're comparing the leaders in the church by you. So you're thinking that we're like you. Exactly. Doubting, Apostle Standifer said, causes you not to move forward. Because you're judging everything based off the flesh. You know you haven't been walking upright, so you don't think anybody else has been walking upright. You know that you fall every now and then, so you're thinking everybody falls every now and then. Amen? Amen. Amen. And because of that mindset, it causes you not to hear the Spirit when the Spirit is speaking through us. We never told you we were all that. But we, all we said is that we're growing in grace just like you. We're striving for masteries just like you are. And if you're not careful, you'll be one who finds fault all the time. A fault finder. A busybody. Do y'all understand that? A busybody is someone who's super busy trying to find fault. They're trying to be in other people's business. Amen? Amen. So we got Amos here. Yahweh called him. He was a nothing. Amen. He was just a herdman. And Yahweh spoke to him. Amen? Amen. Amen. Called him to prophesy against Israel. Amen. Let's see what it says. Thus has the Lord Yahweh shown unto me. Uh-huh. And behold. Yes. He formed grasshoppers in the beginning. He formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of, of the, the latter, latter growth. growth. And lo. And lo. It was the latter growth of the after the, the king's mowing. Okay. So there's a, the, the king mowed some stuff. And there was some more growth afterwards. Amen. Amen. And Yahweh formed grasshoppers ho- officers <laughs> grasshopper that could be like locusts uh-huh. it could be any of that Amen. Amen. there's some insects coming up that are going to threaten to eat all the food Amen. that's what it's talking about for us you know we're not we, we we got grocery stores to go to i mean they can ship stuff in from next state To get us some food. If there's a famine in Texas, they'll bring something from Louisiana. Amen? Amen. So we don't really understand this. We don't really relate to it like the people, the children of Israel would. Whenever they're seeing that there's insects and it's all over everything, it means people are going to die. Because people are going to starve to death. Amen? Amen. Amen. So it's a real serious thing what Amos was seeing that Yahweh was doing. Read on. And it came to pass uh-huh. that when they had made an end of eating of the grass yes. of the land, then I said, O Lord Yahweh. Forgive. O Lord Yahweh. Amos is, see, clearly this is what I'm talking about. It's a serious situation. Amen. And this is a vision that Yahweh showed Amos. He's saying, O Lord Yahweh. Forgive. Forgive. I beseech you. He already knew what was going on. Yahweh had already put in Amos's heart and spirit that it was because the children of Israel had sinned. Amen. Yahweh set up all these rules for all these feasts and all these things. And it involved grain offerings, you know, the first fruits and all the animal sacrifices. How were they going to do that? That was the only way that they could stay Yahweh's people is if they make it to every single one of those feasts all year long and offer up sacrifices for every single feast and always give You know, their offerings to Yahweh. How in the world are they going to be able to continue to be Yahweh's people if Yahweh cuts off the fruit of the land? Because the animals have to eat it. The animals are going to die after the uh, after the crops are gone. 
So that's running through Amos's head and all the people. It's like, we're going to die in our sins and be cut off from being Yahweh's people because we can't do these feasts. Amen. Do y'all understand that? Hallelujah. So everything that we do matters. Amen. If we don't walk upright and Yahweh curses something, like that's why sometimes you complain when we say everybody should have their tithing and offering. Amen. Right? And you say, I don't have the money. And, they, and you get sarcastic and say, you're trying to squeeze blood out of a turnip or something like that? You know, turnips aren't very juicy. So there's not a lot to squeeze out of them. But the problem is, the reason why you don't have much is because you're cursed because of what you've been doing. Amen. These children of Israel were worshiping false gods on the side. Yes, Amen. 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 Y'all understand that? Yes, Read it. Oh, Lord Yahweh. Yes. Forgive. Forgive. I beseech you. Remember, I beseech you means I'm begging you. Amen. I'm begging you, Yahweh. Forgive. Amen. I beseech you. I beseech you. Amen. Yes. By whom Jacob shall Jacob arise? Now, who's going to help Jacob get back up? Yeah. Amen. Amen. But you, Yahweh. Amen. This is just a vision. Amen. What does Yahweh say? For he is small. Yeah. Y'all yeah. repented for this. See, at least Amos knew that we're small. Amen. You know, uh, King, uh, 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 Apostle Paul was like, who's going to save this wretch? Amen? Amen? From the body of this death. Hallelujah. You know, I need to get... The, the issue is, in the New Testament, we begin to realize more and more and more, and even the whole entire volume of the Old Testament, it's, the whole thing is about Israel had a heart problem. Amen. And a spirit problem. Amen. Where they tried so hard but couldn't find it in them to stay faithful to Yahweh. There was something wrong right. and they needed help Amen. and Yahweh knew it Amen. so he sent Yeshua Amen. but here's the thing here we are in the church of Yeshua Messiah and we're no different from the children of Israel because we need Yeshua Amen. 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 Amen they were given the law and they had to follow it and it was all pointing to Yeshua. Yeshua wasn't there, but they were hoping for whatever Yahweh had in store, they would be saved. We got Yeshua. So it's not, it's not like we're any different from any other human being that was ever created. Yahweh has given all of us a chance. They look to Yeshua. We're looking back at Yeshua. And we got to look to Him. In all of our lives. Can't Amen. get along with your husband. Can't get along with your wife. You better look to Yeshua. Amen. 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 I'd like to thank Yahweh for my wife <clears throat> at this time because she's come a long way. Amen. See, my wife knows me really good. And I know my wife really good. Amen. Uh, 20 years ago, we'd be at each other's throats. But now, Yahweh is allowing our trials to come back full circle. And I know there are sometimes my wife is just quiet. Amen? I'm not used to her being quiet. So usually, when she gets real quiet, there's a part of me that's like, everything okay? What's wrong? Everything all right? And my wife is like, I'm fine. I'm not used to that. But I know my wife well enough to know she's going through something. She learned how to not talk about it. And then I have to stop myself because my thing is sometimes I would egg her on with my 20 questions until I finally get it out of her and I didn't like what I got out. And my wife tell me over and over and over again. She's like, if you would just stop asking me, I'm going to be all right. Just let this, whatever Yahweh is doing with me, leave the cake in the oven. Leave the roast in the crock pot. Don't be pulling it out. Just, and so we got to learn how to do that with one another. Your husband going through some stuff, leave him alone. Wife going through some stuff, just give him the space. Now I understand it can be scary sometimes. 
You may not see them hardly ever praying or reading the Bible. It doesn't mean they aren't. It's just that you may not be around while they're doing it. But at the same time, we should all have love, care, and concern for one another to where you will at least bring up doing spiritual things around your family sometimes just in case they get weak and they're not doing those things. Now, when somebody has an evil spirit in your family and they have an evil spirit in them, they won't like it when you start reading the Bible. They won't like it when you want to pray. They won't like it when you want to watch a spiritual movie. They won't like it when you want to watch Facebook service. They just won't like it when you want to do something spiritual. And it's not easy whenever you've got two people in the house with two different minds. And the devil often will make the husband and the wife play tag with one another. I'll get right when you're wrong. You get right, I'll get wrong. Amen? And that's how he, that's how he gets you. Because cause what Yahweh wants for you in your house is stability. Amen. Structure and stability where, where there's peace in your house. And it's, it's a refuge, you know, it's safe haven. And where, you know, because there's enough going on out in that world with all the devils. I heard uh, Sister Ray Ray's testimony. It touched my heart. Amen. I know a lot about what she's talking about. Because when my father passed away, and, and, and just a little digression, we can all talk big about how we may not cry when somebody we know dies. But I, 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 I totally uh, lost it in the middle of the night one t- after my dad died. You know, it's like, it's, it's rough. Amen. <laughs> Because Yeshua Messiah giving you a right heart now and you got the love that you should have. Amen. And, you know, you, you're not trying to hold anything back. You love your father. Amen. Despite how much you may have wished your childhood was different and how your parents wish they would serve, serve Yahweh and raise you up in this way and, you know, and stayed with you because there's so much divorce in the world right now. But whenever my parents, when my dad died, um, we went to the funeral. That we were like strangers. Yeah. I was, and um, you know, it's like you said. Not that I care, but he didn't leave me anything. Uh-oh. And the only thing that he did leave me, because he didn't have a will, I had to give away, Amen. which was his home. I wasn't going to try to stake a claim to their house. Like, I got a quarter of your house. I just signed it off and gave it to them because that, cause I was out to prove a point. Amen? Amen. Amen. And whenever people mistreat you like that, it's kind of like you're used to being in church where people love each other. And when you get out there, sometimes it's a weird feeling when people are ugly. It, it, you're so used to being in here. Where, you know, maybe not everybody in here shows perfect love, but the vast majority of us in here have a lot of love for one another. Amen? Amen. But but it's a blessing to be in the church, saints. Amen? Hallelujah. But read on. By whom shall Jacob arise? Uh Uh-huh. For he is small. He's small. Yahweh repented for this. Yahweh repented for this. It shall not be. Okay, so clearly, if Yahweh's showing Amos something... And then he said, this shall not be. Amen. He's, he's trying to prove a point. He's trying to make them think. He's, he's going to teach a lesson. You need to realize, what about all the things that Yahweh could have done to us? I'm talking about some horrific things. The last flood that just happened. No doubt people drowned. Somebody get swept away usually and they never even find the body that's how bad it is that could happen to any one of us people still catching aids it's 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 crazy because i was talking about covid and about how traumatic it was for the the nation the whole world and then i was like i what if something I sure hope something else doesn't pop up. And I thought I heard something about some monkey something. But even when I said it, it had already happened. 
The scripture says there shall be wars and rumors of wars. There's going to be pestilence, right? Which is like sickness and diseases. It's coming. You, you, you grew up parents tricking you into believing this American dream we have here. About how like, all, you know, when I was a kid in the early 80s, all they would tell you, you had to worry about was, the, was, the Ru- was Russia. Right back then, the USSR, which doesn't even exist right now. But they, that's where they had our focus on that. Like we were the two big superpowers of the world and couldn't nothing happen to, the, to America. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Despite the fact you, that all the movies about uh, global thermonuclear warfare... Even when I watched war games, it still didn't wake me up and make me realize that America could get nuked or bombed at any given moment. We just watched the movie and said, that was a great movie, man. You know, it, we still weren't putting two and two together. We were just still living like devils. And this whole world has gone crazy. With, with uh, uh, Everything's about lust and pleasure now. Like, like we said in the last service, everybody's acting like a victim. Everybody's trying to get a, uh, have to work less and less and less and just give in to every lust and pleasure that comes to their mind and they want to feel okay about what they're doing. And, and that's what this world is coming to. But Yahweh is trying to show them, look, I could destroy everything that you would eat. But I'm not going to do that. That's what he's saying. It's, 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 it's to this message... You know, Amos spoke this to people. He didn't just write it down, put it in a book, and nobody ever read about it until we got a hold of it. This message was for Israel to hear from Amos' mouth, and then they wrote about it later, and it was to try to get them to wake up and put two and two together and say, hey, Yahweh could destroy everything. Perhaps I should change my ways. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, Myself, I'm thinking about my family, my wife, my son, Michael, Ariana, baby Trace, hallelujah, Hallelujah. Jeremiah and Shanera, Abigail, and of course, all of you, because I care about you just like when I say brothers and sisters, I mean it, but it makes me think about Yahweh could destroy my family because what's more precious, Amen. amen. So should I, should I start seeking Yahweh more and more every day or less and less every day? Apostle Washington said his favorite, his, not his favorite, his, the scariest thing is getting old. Right? He's talking about for himself. Because you know, when you get old, you get tired. And you're like, ah, I'll skip this fellowship. You know, that kind of stuff. Amen. Amen. I've told y'all, I've had an issue with my knees lately, right? It took 10 months for my right knee to heal from whenever I heard it in Pakula. 10 months. And the day it stopped hurting, I feel like I tore my meniscus in this knee. So now I'm having to put pressure back on my right knee that just started feeling better. I cannot squat. Period. If I go down, I'm, it's, it's going to take me five times longer than it took me to get down to get back up. And there's going to be some... Uh, uh, uh. Amen. But I'm thanking Yahweh for it. See, that's what you got to understand. I'm not complaining. Amen. I'm telling you, Yahweh did this just like he's done every other thing to me. The good and the bad he's done for me. It's working together for me. I know myself and I know I need Yahweh's help. So I always tell Yahweh, do what you got to do to keep me in you. Amen. To help me. To wake up. To realize that you could do anything you want to do. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. What else does it say? Yahweh repented for this. Uh huh. So now B says Yahweh. Yes. Thus has the Lord Yahweh shown unto me. Thus he showed me. Read on. And behold, the Lord Yahweh called to contend by fire. Uh huh. 
and it devoured the great deep and didn't yes. up apart. So it's saying that then Yahweh showed him. He called to contend by fire. Amen. That means he brought some fire. Amen. To contend with who? Israel. Amen. That means, you know, the called out ones. Amen. It's us. He's going to bring some fire. Hallelujah. It says he can do that. That's what he's trying to show you. He's trying to show you I can bring fire. And what did he do with the fire? And devoured the great deep. It devoured the great deep. And did eat up a part. We're talking about you go out and they looked at the Mediterranean Sea. And no doubt that was a great deep. Yes. It's a sea. Yes. And in this vision, how much did he burn up? It, it did up. It um. Uh, it devoured a great part. Uh, a part. Amen. Now, that's pretty notable if you can tell a big chunk of the sea got burnt up by fire. Amen. Think about this. Think about this. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, Lord. Yahweh could destroy us. Amen. Yes, Lord. Yahweh could burn up all the fish that they were planning on eating. Amen. You understand that? Amen. Israel was right up by the coastline. Amen? Amen. Or even it was to, to the east. But you, you see how Yahweh can do anything? Amen. He could destroy us. He really can. Hallelujah. So whenever we go through what we got to go through at school, the Spirit has been really pleading to this, this year in school. And I know why. Because the school is like, you want to be, a, be gay? It's okay. You be gay. Amen. So all of us holy people, we don't really want to send our kids off to these schools Amen. where they're promoting all this wickedness. Amen. 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 These, these parents, these teachers don't go to church with us. They don't hold the same values that we hold to. So they will let our kids get away with whatever. <laughs> Unless you do what Prophet Washington did. Amen. Made sure... That they knew that the teacher knew what uh, Lee was about. Amen. 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 Yeah, we we did it every single year. Amen. Me and Risa. Yeah. Risa was the one who always wanted to go meet the teacher. I didn't want to go. <laughs> but sometimes you got to hearken to the voice of Sarah. Amen. 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 And, and most of the time, almost every time we would ever go, we were wearing our suits because right. we had to get to church right afterwards. Yeah. And hopefully that made an impression because we would tell them what holidays that they don't celebrate and what we stand for. And that we made sure they knew that if he misbehaved, please give us a call. If, if Michael, Jeremiah, or Abigail misbehaved, you give us a call. We want to know. We care about our kids. Amen. It's important. Kids, don't give in to what's going on at the schools. Hallelujah. On my job, we had a, a there's a, a thing called the No Fear Act. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. But basically, they're trying to say that if people on the job discriminate or, you know, whether they give sexual harassment and all that kind of stuff. And I get that because there's lots of people who call themselves Christians, right? And if you are a homosexual or something like that, and you make a pass at somebody because you're flirting with them, some of these Christians are going to be ugly to that person who made a pass with them. Yeah. And they're going to treat them like dirt. Yeah. And see, but I could see the evil in this training because they're making people who believe that it's wrong to be the bad guys. And that everybody else, if you're bisexual, homosexual, this, here, and that, there, you're made out to be the good guys. Yeah, but 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 you see, that's what these violent, ugly acting Christians yeah. have done to themselves. Amen. 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 Because if you don't want to believe and serve and worship the God that we do. That doesn't give us a license to mistreat anybody. Amen. And that's what these other churches do. If, they don't, if you don't believe what we believe, I'm going to treat you ugly. I'm going to be dirty to you. Amen. 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 
We just need to remember that we should never lay down our kindness to people because they walk in darkness. If someone is gay or whatever and they make a pass at you, you don't have to be ugly to them. You just say, uh, I serve Yahweh. And according to what I believe, and I know it's true, you don't have to be a wimp about it. And I know it's true. It's an abomination in the sight of Yahweh to, uh, to, to be a homosexual. And if somebody calls you out on that, like you are being ugly to them, you have to just go to your supervisor and say, if they have rights for being homosexual, I have rights for, for my belief. Amen. 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 And if it works out for you, it works out for you. But if they persecute you and fire you, they just do. But you can't give up kindness. Chances are it's going to turn out all right if you keep enough kindness. Amen. 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 <laughs> I was been, I've been meditating about it because they're being pretty adamant about if the man's name is, you know, Roger. And now they had the, the, the surgery done. And now they're Rowena, I guess. <laughs> and that if you don't call them Rowena... You're going to get in trouble. On, on, in my job. Well, I've already figured out in my head, I'm going to have to tell him, look. My religious belief, what I believe. What I'm taught is that it is a sin. To call a man a woman whenever Yahweh made them a man. Or vice versa. So you better assign them a number I can call them. Because I can't do what you're wanting me to do. I will call them. I will call them 0001 from here on out if you want me to. Or whatever. Yeah, I might have, but, but don't make, don't, I can't call them Mrs. Or Ms. It's going to have to be just last name. And you have to be, explain it to them. We can't back down. We got, we got some evil days ahead of us. I see it. I see it where Satan is setting up stumbling blocks for the people of Yahweh. We're going to have to draw closer and closer and closer him to make sure that we have that right word, that right thing to say because... If we act ugly, because you're in a position where you're going to have to stand up for what you believe. But because you feel so much pressure, you get ugly with people because of it. That's not going to work. It's going to cancel out. Nobody's going to see your light. But if you're firm about it, but also kind. And if you have a good understanding of why you're doing what you're doing, that's why you got to. Start reading your Bible. And that's why you got to start paying attention in church. We got some people in here that their eyes are wide open, but y'all are asleep. Do what you got to do to keep this thing fresh. And realize that everything that you're being taught has a time and a season and a purpose. So you better be listening. You're going to need it. So I meditate on these kind of things. I, I, I think about it. You know, so if this happens, Yahweh, what should I say? What should I do? And he may not answer me right away. Amen. And, and, I, and I've learned also that when Yahweh doesn't answer you, it's to give you patience. Amen. So you can say, I'm still going to be a believer even though I don't have this answer. Amen. Because I used to be the kind of person where every service I'd have five questions. That's right. And I'd keep them up till midnight. I'm talking back in the, uh, from 90, 1997, whenever I first came to church. Yes. They know. They had to give me rides home when I didn't have a car. And even when I, they got to my house, they couldn't leave. Because I kept on asking them question after question after question. So I decided, I don't need to ask any of these questions. Because if they answer my question and I still don't really fully understand yet, it means that Yahweh just wants me to do it by faith until I get an understanding. Amen. We, got, we still got people here that are so troubled because of their questions. 
You're sitting around waiting y'all for Yahweh to answer your question, and you can't even praise Him during praise service because you're so worried about your little question that you're not even praising Him. Amen. And Yahweh is trying to tell you, look, just trust in me. You don't need to know the things that you think you need to know to serve me in this generation. Just hold fast to what I've given you, and you will be happy. You will have peace. You will have a light heart to where you can come in here and you can dance and you can sing and you can rejoice. You can give me all the glory. But as long as you keep on holding on to all your problems and not casting them to Yahweh, I'm telling you, it's going to continue to come in here. You're going to continue to come in here with this half spirit. And that's what it is. It's not about that you don't think you can sing. It's not about that you don't think you can dance. Because I don't think I can sing very good. And I don't think I can dance very good. But I'm going to come in here and praise Yahweh with all my heart. Because I know that this is part of, of proving that I've, that I've given him everything. Amen. So I can come in here with that free spirit. Amen. What else does it say? Then said I. Yes. O oh Lord Yahweh. Uh-huh. Cease. I beseech you. Cease, I beseech you. By whom shall Jacob arise? Stop this fire. Cease, please, Yahweh. Please. You know all the stuff that the church is going through right now. Amen. You, need to, you need to realize that Yahweh, can he could destroy everything. But thank God, let's just continue to read about God's character and what he will do. Read. Amen. By whom shall Jacob arise? Uh -huh. For he is small. Yes. Yahweh repented for this. Yahweh, repent. Take your time on the word. Amen. Yahweh repented for this. This also shall not this be. This also shall not be. So, I'm not going to destroy all your food with grasshoppers. And I'm not going to catch all your water on fire. Amen. This is not going to be. And we should all be saying, thank you, Yahweh. Amen. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Amen. He says, because those kind of things would just destroy us utterly. Amen. Do you get that? Yes. Yes. Do you get it? Think about this. Look how far Yahweh has brought us. And he could have destroyed us. But just because, just because he could have destroyed us in those fashions, in that way, or any other way. It doesn't stop what he's going to tell Amos next. Amen? Amen. Read. Yahweh repented for this. Yes. This also shall not be. Uh-huh. Says the Lord Yahweh. Yes. Thus he showed me. Thus he showed me. And behold, the Lord stood upon and a behold, wall. And behold, the Lord stood upon a wall. Made by a plumb line. Made by a plumb line. With okay, a plumb so line in his hand. Okay, so what a plumb line is, it's like a string. A string. That's got a weight on it. Yeah. Amen. You take it up and you let it hang down. And guess what? It's going to be straight. Yeah. So it's the means by which a builder of a wall can tell that the wall is straight. Because if the wall is leaning, what's going to happen? It will eventually fall. So what does that tell you? That tells you Yahweh wants us upright. Amen. Y'all understand that? He wants things straight. When he builds something, it's going to be right. So he's got that plumb line. Read on. With the plumb line in his hand. Yes. And Yahweh said to me, Amos, what's, what's to you? Yes. And I said, a plumb line. Then said the Slow Lord, down behold, a little bit. A plumb line. Then said the Lord. Then said the Lord. Behold. Behold. I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people. I will set a plumb line. In the midst of my people. In the midst of my people. Israel. Israel. I will not again pass by them anymore. I will not again pass by them anymore. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means just because I didn't destroy you with the grasshoppers. Just because I didn't destroy you with the fire doesn't mean you're going to get away with walking in your sins. Amen. So sometimes we feel like Yahweh's not going to do anything. The devil tries to trick us and think, well, I, you know, I got drunk. He didn't do anything. Right? Amen. Spirit said, no, more, quit playing, giving myself over to video games. I'm still doing it. He ain't done anything. Yeah. Right? Amen. You know, uh, the, the, the Spirit said, stay off your phone while you're driving all the time. I'm still on my phone all the time. Ain't nothing happened. You see what I'm saying? 
He didn't destroy me by the grasshoppers. He didn't destroy me by the fire. He didn't destroy me because of this. He didn't destroy me because of I get in arguments all the time with my wife. I get in arguments all the time with my, my husband. You know? I don't, I don't discipline my kids right. He ain't done nothing. That's what Israel was thinking. I worship these false gods. I go up to the high places and do everything that the, the scripture says not to do. Right. He hasn't done anything yet. That's right. yes, Lord. <clears throat> I don't just worship Yahweh. I worship Asherah too. He ain't done nothing. Right? right? Uh -huh. So I don't think it takes all of that that they're saying that it takes. Yes. And that's why we don't do right. Because yes. deep down in the recesses of your mind, I don't care how much you say you fully believe in this way. To fully believe in this way means you do it. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you believe in something, you're faithful to it. Amen. And you do it. Amen. <laughs> I had heard um, a, a magician named Penn Gillette, right? He, he, he has this like a podcast, like a talk show, right? He said all these Christians... He can't believe them. He says because if, if he believed in the God that they say they believe in, he said there, he would never sleep with another prostitute for the rest of his life ever. He would, never do, he would never do anything that the God of the Bible said not to because that God, if you really believed that he was real, you would never disobey him. Amen. It's crazy that sinners can see this thing. Amen. But believers... Are slow to obey, Amen. slow to be faithful, Amen. slow to believe. Yes, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does it say? In the high places of Isaac. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? Verse nine. Okay. In Read the high on. places of Isaac shall be desolate. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate. And the sanctuaries of Israel uh -huh. shall be laid waste. Yes. Now arise against the house of Je Jeroboam. Uh huh. With the with the sword. Yes. Then uh, Amaziah, Amaziah. Yes. The priest of Bethel mm -hmm. sent to Jeroboam, king of Israel. Read. Saying Amos has conspired against you in the midst of the house of Israel. Uh huh. The land is not able to bear all his words. So there's always going to be something, whether it's the devil or somebody else, Amen. who's going to lie yes. Amen. about what we're doing here. Amen. 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 You're going to see videos on YouTube that says we sh you shouldn't be believing the way that we're doing. You're going to have family members. They're going to say you shouldn't be believing this way. Amen. 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 The devil himself is just going to wrestle with you all day long. But you got to come to this point where you got your mind made up that you realize that there's a plumb line. And you know, you know what? In, in, in uh, Yeshua is the plumb line. Do you all understand that? Amen. We're all, he's the one that you stand by and you can tell whether you're upright or not. Amen. The church is the plumb line. Amen. Amen. So it's the righteous ones that are walking upright in the church are the ones that we have to look at. And if we're not acting exactly like them, if you're not acting exactly like them, you're crooked. Amen. You're leaning. Amen. Amen. So do you do you see that he he said I'm not gonna do the I'm not gonna do the grasshoppers I'm not gonna do the fire but I am gonna do this. Yeah. Amen. No matter how much mercy Yahweh has shown on us, he's not gonna change Yeshua Messiah. Amen. He's not gonna lower the standard of holiness and righteousness and perfection just because he's shown us mercy. Hallelujah. Don't let the mercy fool you. There's still, a, there's still something that you got to do. We got to do it in our lives. Amen. We got to get rid of everything. Lay aside every weight. You know, you could say, and it may, it's not always easy. You can say that. But, and it's true. There's lots of challenges. There's lots of things. The, the Bible says there's nothing good in our flesh. Amen. So if this was easy... Everybody would do it. Right. Amen. Amen. 
But you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and holy nation that you should show forth the praises of him that has brought you out of darkness into this marvelous light. Amen. Hallelujah. This thing's not for the for the, the people who want everything easy. This is for the people who are going to rise up to the challenge. It takes a lot to humble yourself. And to, and, and to, and to uh, submit yourself to Yeshua Messiah. Yes. To his ways. It takes a lot. Yes, Lord. But you got to realize all of that lot is supplied by him that's going to help you. Amen. That's the only reason why I haven't given up. Because I've, I've come to the conclusion that in me, I can't do this thing. Yes. <laughs> yes, <Lord. laughs> I can't. <laughs> I know that I'm only doing this because he's helped me. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm still, I'm still waking up every day saying, Yahweh, what else? Amen. Help me. <laughs> Amen. And then you know what my next thought after help me is? I believe you've helped me. Yeah. My next thought is, thank you for helping me. Amen. I'll ask him, I'm like, give me the strength. And then I'm like, he already gave me the strength. Yeah. Then I'm like, Yahweh, I know you've already given me the strength. So it's kind of, it's like, it's a little comical in the mind, how this thing works. All of this is foolishness to the world, what we're doing. People in the world think we're crazy for this. But we're the ones who aren't punching people in the faces. We're the people who aren't just like losing it in the grocery store. Amen. We're the ones that aren't choking our kids. I remember whenever I was, uh, I don't remember how old I was, but some lady cut her baby's arms off. Oh, yeah. I'll never forget that. I'm traumatized in the mind. I think about that a lot. Amen. How could a mother of a child cut the child's arms off because the child was bothering the mother? Amen. Well, you know what? I'm not a woman. But I examined myself on that. Yes, sir. I say to myself, how am I acting just, just because of my condition? Amen. How out of whack am I in some area? Yes. You know, you would, you would be unwise to say, oh, that's horrible. How could they? And look down. Amen. Although that's true. But it's always best to humble yourself and keep yourself low and look at yourself and say... What am I doing, Lord? I know I got to meet you. Hallelujah. You know, am I snappy to my wife? Am I rough with my kids? Amen. You know, when my kids were kids, I disciplined them. I tried real hard to get it in them while they were young. Of course, I made some mistakes along the way. But now that I'm older, especially with my two grown sons, I don't treat them like babies anymore. I'm not yelling at them. I'm not constantly scolding them about everything. My son lives with me, Jerry. I've probably told him 20 to 50 times, quit leaving your dirty clothes in the bathroom. But I'm telling you what, I don't ever yell at him about it. I'm doing this. I've, t- I've said it over and over again. I'm doing this for you, Shanera. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Amen. But my point is, we should be people of peace. Yes. Amen. When we discipline our kids while they're young, it's a different story. Right. It's, it's a situational thing. It's, a, it's, it's while they're young, you get it in them. You whoop them, you raise your voice at them. Yes. You hold them accountable and you make them act right. Amen. But as, as they get older and choose their way, whether they're going to serve Yahweh or not, I'm not going to hate anybody because they decide they don't want to serve Yahweh. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. I know it's the right thing to do. Right. Yeah. But I'm not going to let a wicked person's decisions turn me into a hateful person. Amen. I did not come to church to be a hater, yeah. a hateful person. Hallelujah. I did not come to church to have a hateful spirit yeah. and be angry and stressed out. I came to church to have a true and right spirit, a peaceful spirit, a merciful spirit, a forgiving spirit. 
and the kind of person who leads by example. So I just pick up his dirty clothes like I'm his maid and go put it in his closet for him Amen. over and over and over again. You know, like, make sure you put your stuff that you made food with up. And he doesn't. Make sure you put your clothes up like he's still five years old. And he doesn't. I'm not saying this because I have to. I'm not saying it because it bothers me so much. I just had to bring it up tonight. I'm telling you this because this is what Yahweh has done to me over the last 20-something years of being in church. To where I can do all things through Yeshua Amen. Messiah who gives me strength. Amen. I'm not. It runs in my family to lose it. To have high anxiety. To blow up on everybody. Cuss people out. My grandmother had cussed me out. My aunt cussed me out. My mom cussed me out a bunch of times. Because it runs in my family to just blow up and start cussing people out. Because... Because you're inconveniencing me, right. you're bothering me, and, I, and, and you feel like nobody loves you and nobody respects you and you have that kind of a mentality. Right. So everybody runs around blaming everybody about everything. That's how I grew up. Amen. 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 So, so me being in this way, I can be mistreated, I can, I can be done wrong, Amen. and I'm good with it. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. There's nothing better than that. I can go to, go to a job and everybody else can be dog eat dog and I'm just there to help. Amen. Amen. I love that feeling. Amen. Praise Yahweh. Amen. I'm almost done. Read on. For thus Amos said, Uh huh. Jer Jeroboam shall die by the sword and, and Israel, Israel shall, shall surely be led away captive, captive out of their own land. Uh huh. Also Amaziah said to Amos, Uh huh. Oh, you seer. Yes. Go flee your way into the land of Judah. Uh huh. And eat their bread. Yes. And prophesy there. Yeah. But prophesy not again anymore at Bethel. Do you what see? Is the king's chapel. You see how the devil got in this person is trying to uh, turn turn Amos away from doing what Yahweh called him to do. Yeah. Yeah. Who's who's coming to you, uh -huh. yeah. trying to get you right. to give up about this way? Amen. Is it your family? Amen. Is it YouTube? Yeah. Yeah. Is it is it just uh, uh, your coworkers? Right. Who is it? Yeah. There's somebody telling you, and I'm almost. Uh, Amos had to say, "Look, I was no uh, prophet. He said I was just, you know, a herdman. Yahweh called me and told me to prophesy to Israel. Right? I'm not gonna go flee anywhere. I'm not gonna go prophesy in Judah. I'm prophesying right where Yahweh told me to prophesy. Amen. Amen. So, in other words, whatever Yahweh has called you to, quit running away from it." Quit being afraid of your little trials. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We, we all have flesh on. Right. That thing that you really, really like to do that the Spirit said is bad, it's a strong feeling to want to keep on doing those bad things. Yeah. I mean, you could say you're going to stop and you just find yourself right back at it. Right. But don't you know Yahweh's Spirit is merciful? Amen. And it is able to pull you out of that. Yeah. It is able to help you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. So let's be strong. Let's keep on being what Yahweh is calling for us to be. And uh, pray for one another. Pray for me as I go to Mexico this, this next week. And, uh, and pray for my wife and uh, Abigail. Oh, so much, a lot of sickness going around right now. So just pray for everybody. In the name of Yeshua Messiah. But at this time, we're going to go further on to the next preacher. Let's all rise and receive Prophet Washington by saying praise Yahweh. Amen. Thanks. We all can be seated. Praise Yahweh, Saints. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Hallelujah. It's truly a blessing to be in the house of Yahweh this night. Amen. Baby, come in here and hear words commanded of the Most High. Amen. All words that apply to our salvation. Amen. Truly want to give double honor to Apostle Washington, who is in Mexico. Amen. Thank Yahweh for the two sisters and the brother that's with him. Amen. 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 Having a heart and desire to see this thing continue on here. Yes. Thank y'all for my beautiful wife and the children that he blessed me with. Amen. And it's truly it's a, it's a blessing to see you, Elder Andre. Amen. You know, you've been in my prayers, my thoughts a lot lately. Amen. Amen. Pray that Yahweh touch and heal your body. Yes. Amen. Because you truly miss here in the house of Yahweh. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You're often concerned about those that miss a lot of service. Yes, sir. Amen. Because Hayden has his way. That's what he wants. Okay. You know, even though, of course, it was a sickness that, that kept him back. But even Satan will use sickness. Amen. To cause uh, a, a, as a way to, to uh, uh, not hear his words. Right. He used every opportunity to be able to, uh, uh, you say what there, Apostle? Yeah, to try to weaken you. But truly, I'm glad to see you here in the house of Yahweh. Amen. I truly thank Yahweh for the words that came forth through Apostle Hurley. Yes. You know, the words of Yahweh is definitely on time. Yes. Yes. And as long as you and I draw breath in these last and evil days, yes, Satan is going to always continue to fight against the church. Amen. Amen. It said it was given unto him. Amen. Mm -hmm. To make war with us. Amen. Yes. To, 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 to destroy us. Yes. He's here to kill, steal, and destroy. Oh, yeah. He want to kill our spirit. Amen. Amen. Uh, he trying to steal that which Yahweh has given to us. Amen. 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 And that's his whole job, his whole purpose. Yes. And so you have to keep your eyes open. Amen. To how Satan is operating. Because if you don't, he'll end up getting you as well. Yes. He'll allow you to be able to look around and see what's going on. It's like a warlock. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And cause you to want to doubt based off what you may be seeing or what you may be hearing. Yes. Um, but, you know, Pastor Washington often used to always say, and still say, don't allow what your eyes see, amen, huh? nor what your ears hear to cause you to want to turn from the living God. Amen. Right. Amen. Because we all going to be faced with adversities. Yes. Hallelujah. We're all faced with certain trials and tribulations. Yes, Lord. Amen. And so you hear certain things and you see certain things and it causes your, your, your faith to uh, waver. Amen. Mm -hmm. It causes you to want to start doubting. I think about John the Baptist, huh? And when he was in prison, based on what he was faced with, he began to start, he began to doubt. Uh, he began to see, you know, uh, uh, see what was going on based off his situation. He began to doubt, so he sent some of the disciples until Yahshua the Messiah. And he sent them, them, those disciples back and said, tell John, amen. Uh, tell John that the blind see, uh, that the lame walk, that the lepers are cleansed. Uh, that the deaf they hear, that the dead they are uh, raised from the dead, and that the gospel is being preached unto the poor. Yes, and so when I, you know, there's certain things that we see, and and there's a, a strong spirit in the house, Hallelujah, that 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 that, that wants to come and destroy. Yes, but there's those that's repentant, Amen. Yes. Uh, got baptized. Yes. We hear about those receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost out in level. Hallelujah, you hear about the young brothers here going on a concentration. And I'm so proud, amen, to see that, to hear that. And I looked over and I saw them both get up and come sit in the front. And they came and sat by Brother Paul. Amen, you see why it's important you young brothers, y'all be strong. Huh? DJ, wherever you may be, I know you're here. Saw you come in, you might be in the bathroom. But why y'all have to be strong? Because y'all have a generation after you. Amen. Amen. You have a generation that's after you mm -hmm, that, that look up to you. So you have to be strong. And I was thinking about Brother Felix. And I was sharing with an evangelist children on the way back from Lubbock because a young man has such a pure heart. Amen. So innocent. Have a desire to want to know this thing. So there were some things that I shared among the people there out in Lubbock and he came to me after service and wanted some more understanding of the thing. Amen. Hunger. Yeah. Amen. Thirsty for righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. He, he wanted to be able to approach whatever he's faced with with the right way. Yeah. Um, with, 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 uh, with wisdom. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. And I said, you and your wife, y'all have such a beautiful spirit. Yeah. I said, you know who you two remind me of? And he said, no, sir. I said, go read about Priscilla and Aquila. I said, go read about them. That's right. What Amen. book is, is that in? I said, go search it. Amen. Amen. When you find it, give me a call and we can talk. Amen. But I was telling Evangelist Childers, I said, I thank Yahweh for the spirit that he has. Yes. And I said, he somewhat remind me of Evangelist Davis when he first came in. Amen. I said, he has such a, a pure heart. I said, you never know that he might just stir up his generation. Amen. I thank Yahweh for a brother Ezekiel. Amen. He's a young man that's really been standing up, being strong. Hallelujah. On his post as a reader. Amen. Hallelujah. But I, I said, this young man, he can stir up his generation. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Evangelist David, he stirred up mine. 
Uh, we had a whole bunch of slow for brothers. Hey Amen. During that time, don't want to do nothing but want to play basketball and video games. Being a sister faces and all that. Hey Amen. He came in, he heard a gospel preach. Hallelujah. And it touched his heart. He began to concentrate himself. Spirit began to exalt him and praise him and put up brothers to shame. Next thing you know, we praying. <laughs> Hallelujah. We fasting. We, we, we reading. So his presence. Mm, Hallelujah. I pray that it, it stir up this generation. Hallelujah. That y'all come together and, and be the brothers that y'all need to be. Because like I said, that generation below you, huh, they need you. They need an example. If not, that generation to pass you on up. Amen. But I truly thank Yahweh for the words that came from Apostle Hurley. Amen. Amen. Because it's definitely needed. Amen. And, and saints, you know, it's, it's very important that you, you, uh, you make your calling and your election sure. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, because once again, there's things that you shall hear. There's things that you shall see that may cause you to want to faint and give up. Yes. But remember, it's a save yourself situation. Yes. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Save yourself from this untoward generation. You know, don't allow what you uh, 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 what you hear and what you see cause you to want to give up. Amen. Amen. I said, don't allow what you hear Amen. and what you see cause you to want to give up. Amen. Spoke to a sister in Lubbock today, Amen. and she was saying that she's fearful and she's also excited to be able to step into the house of Yahweh. Yes. I said, why do you say that? Amen. She said, because the house of Yahweh is so empty out there. People falling by the wayside. Amen. Amen. You hear about the children and and so on. Yes. Amen. Amen. Remember, it's a save yourself situation. Right. You look at the, those type of things that cause you to cause you to forget why you're going into the house of Yahweh in the first place. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. I, I need the word spoken unto me. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. I said, I need the word spoken yes. unto me because I have a soul that I'm trying to save. Yes. Amen. I pray that you have the same desire for yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I pray that you have a desire for yourself. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, but at this time, I'd like to call everyone to attention here to Second Thessalonians, chapter three. Yes. And you have it there, brother Ezekiel. Please read. Amen. Second Thessalonians three and one. Uh huh. For it is written. Yes, sir. Finally, brethren. Finally, brethren. Pray for us. Pray for us. That the word of, that the word of, of the Lord mm -hmm. may have free course. I pray that everyone is taking time out. Amen. With the day, the day that the Lord has blessed you with. Amen. To pray for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Pastor Washington down there in Mexico. Yes. I pray that everyone take time out to pray for the man of God. Um, because he needs your prayer. Amen. Mm -hmm. We as, uh, as men of God here, we also need your prayer. Um, because there's so many spirits out there in the world that we have to deal with. Hallelujah. And we're doing our best to preach this gospel to cleanse the world of these spirits. Yes. Amen. To cleanse the spirits that there may be in individuals. Amen. So he said, pray for us. That the word of the Lord uh -huh. may have free course. That the word of the Lord may have free course. Because don't Amen. you know that that's salvation in the word? Yes. Huh? In order for one to be saved, they have to hear the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If the word needs to be heard, it has to have free course to be able to deal with everything yes. that needs to save someone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. And be glorified. He said, and be glorified. Even as, even as, as it is with you. Uh-huh. And that we may be delivered. Yes, sir. From unreasonable and wicked men. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable, unreasonable. and wicked men. And wicked men. Don't you know that there's many unreasonable and wicked men out there? Yes. Even in the house of Yahweh, we need your prayer to deal with some of you. Amen. Hallelujah. We need your prayer to deal with some of you. Hallelujah, because when Satan get into one, hallelujah, you become wicked and you become unreasonable. You don't want to hear words of salvation. Amen. You have a problem with what's been said. Amen. And we need your prayer to deal with people, to even deal with some of you at times. And because after a while, sometimes you may get tired of dealing with this. Amen. And dealing with that. Hallelujah. And your faith begins to change. Hallelujah. And it calls you to want to start believing that maybe this is not the right place. Right. Amen. Amen. That this is not the truth. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. That what's been saying is nothing to it. And it's only that, that uh, uh, spoken that way. Because it, it, it's, it's the only way to make you feel good about the decision that you choose to make. 
That's the only, only reason why anyone would want to fight against the truth. Right. Hmm? It make you feel good about the decision that you want to make. Yeah. That the wrong that you're in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's better off to say that this is not, it's nothing to it. Amen. Yeah. That there's yeah. no truth to it. Uh-huh. But we need your prayer to be able to handle such. Amen. Amen. Because remember, it's given unto Satan to make war with the saints yeah. and to overcome us. Yeah. I know it's given unto him to make war with us. Amen. Yes, Yahweh. Hallelujah. And Satan is fighting. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. He is he is kicking up. Amen. Yes, he, is. Yes, he is kicking up. Yes, he is. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. To the point you begin to believe such a lie. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, so we need your prayer to be able to handle such. Amen. Uh, to try to help save a soul. Amen. Amen. Uh, because we don't want you. We don't want, uh, as Apostle Paul said it, huh? He said that Yahweh would give them over to believe uh, 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 such a lie. A strong delusion. There we go. Amen. Give them a strong delusion to believe such a lie. Amen. He said because they receive not the love of truth, yeah. uh, which is the Savior. Mm-hmm. It's the Savior. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Yes, sir. Read it. Hallelujah. And that we may be delivered. He said that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. He said that we may be delivered from the unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. For all men have not faith. But the huh? Lord is, is it possible for your faith to change? Yo, yes, Amen. Huh? Is it possible for your faith to change? Uh, yes, sir. It is. That's why I said it's not given to the strong. Yes. Huh? It's not given yes. to the swift, but they that will endure. Yes. It's possible that your faith can change. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't be so shooken, huh? When you see certain things and you see the change in the individual. That brother's soul was strong. That sister was so, so strong. I mean, as we think about Mother Silas, she was very strong. Hallelujah. Huh? Very strong. Encourage many in here, hallelujah, to keep on fighting the faith. The good fight of faith. But it's not given to the strong. Huh? It's not given to the swift. It don't matter how fast you ran. How you're running, huh? He said, you did run well, but who hindered you to not obey the truth? Yeah. Hmm? That's why you said what you said, Apostle Hurley. Huh? Who are you are listening to? Hallelujah. And what's before you to not obey the truth? Amen. I mean, what are you so faced with that caused you to not obey the truth? Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. That's why you have to examine yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hmm? Keep your eyes on yourself. There's going to be some things that you may see. There's some things that you may just hear, saints. Amen. Mm-hmm. Um, many of y'all may have been contemplating about the dream that I had. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm-hmm. Don't allow the dream to take the focus off yourself. Right. Yes, sir. Read it. But the Lord is faithful. He said, but the Lord is faithful. Who shall establish you? Who shall establish you? And keep you from evil. And shall keep you from evil. Amen. Uh-huh. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you. He said, and we have confidence in the Lord touching, touching you. you. Uh-huh. That you both do and will do. See, we have confidence in you. Hallelujah. Amen. I have confidence that every single one of us can do the right thing. Amen. Amen. Because I know the power of our Lord. Hallelujah. If you put your trust in him. Amen. You put your faith in him. I know what he's able to do. So I have confidence in you. Amen. But however, though I might have confidence in you, amen, I can't fight your battles for you. We do our best to exhort you. That's our confidence. We believe that you can do it. He said, it's not my will that any man shall perish according to the Messiah here. Huh? So we have confidence that everybody can be saved. It's possible for everyone to be saved if they turn, hallelujah, to him. Amen. It's possible. Hallelujah. So I have confidence in you. I believe that you can do this thing. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. That you both do and will do the things which we command you. Uh Uh-huh. And the Lord direct your hearts. And the Lord direct your hearts. Into the love of Yahweh. Into the love of Yahweh. And into the patient waiting for the Messiah. And into the patient when, see, you know, your love, you have to be towards the uh, the most high. Amen. And when your love begins to deviate, amen, and begin to focus that on the the natural, amen, in the world. Uh, you forget that you're patiently waiting on the Lord. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. We all in here, we're waiting on the Lord. We, we want to be saved. Yes, yeah. mm-hmm. But our trials and tribulations are going to prove where we stand. That's right. That's right. We have to stand on the word, brother Chris. Yes, sir. Read it. 
Now we command you. Now we command you, brethren, brethren, in the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. In the name of our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. That you withdraw yourselves. That you withdraw yourself from every brother that walks disorderly. Uh huh. And not after the tradition. Which Amen. You, which you, you better make sure that you, when you walk it in here, Hallelujah. Amen. And that you walk diligently. Amen. Walk circumspectly, because Amen. even in here, there's people. Hallelujah. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That yeah. serve not our Lord. Right. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Pastor Paul, he spoke. He said, "Mark them." Mm, that cause division and, 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 and offense contrary yeah. uh, to the doctrine which you have learned. He said, avoid them. Yes, he said, but they be such that love not, that, that, that serve not our Lord, amen, but they serve their own bellies. Yes. And with good words and first speeches, they deceive the hearts of the simple. Yes. It don't matter what they say. Amen, amen. You can sit in here, hallelujah, and say amen. Yes. That's a form of deceiving the hearts of the simple. Yes, yes, yes. That's why the Bible says, mark the perfect man. Behold the upright. You keep your eyes on them because that's possible. It's, uh, uh, that, that there could be tears in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. That can deter you. So you have to keep an eye on them. Uh, 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 um, uh, Pastor Riddle, he had a dream. Amen. Amen. And, and it's very important saying that you keep your eyes on, on, on the perfect man. Amen. 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 Not the person that did run well. <laughs> Past sins, huh? Blind leading the blind. But the perfect man. The upright, the one that's steady doing his thing. Amen. Um, but he had a dream. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and in the dream, there was a, a saint, hallelujah, that was sitting here. And, and, and they began, they, they a tire change to that which is worldly. And they got up, they began to run around the house of Yahweh. Uh, and the person that was standing before them, they began to change. They closed change. They began running right after that individual. And they was running in the house of Yahweh, and they was planning, and they ended up running right out the door. Amen. They ended up running right out the door. You're not careful. You take on the same spirit. You begin to change. You begin to uh, walk just like them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, you begin to walk just like them. Mm. Yahweh, he's not pleased with every one of us. Amen. Hence the dream, he said, that I shall rise up against thee. Uh, you want to run after that person who Yahweh is rising up against? That's a dangerous game to play. Amen. Uh, that's a dangerous game to play. Amen. Amen. So he said, therefore, now we command you, brethren. In the name of our Lord, Yahshua the Messiah. Uh huh. That you withdraw yourselves. That you withdraw yourself from every brother. I, I see you walking disorderly, brother. Amen. I see that you fighting against the truth. You're opposing this thing. Yeah. Amen. You're arguing with the bishops. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, that you learned you withdraw yourselves from them. Amen. Uh huh. And now after the tra 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 tradition. He said, uh, uh, after, after the tradition. Which you received from us. Uh huh. For yourself, knowing see, how you, you know want to what you received us. of us. Right. Amen. Every single one of us know what you've been taught. Yeah. Amen. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The commandments which we have given them to you, huh, by our Lord and Savior, Yahshua the Messiah. Yes. Amen. You know how you ought to walk. That's the, the tradition of holiness. Right. Yeah. And the tradition of righteousness. Yeah. See, sometimes when, when saints begin to kick up, hallelujah, uh, and, and sometimes it motivate others to kick up. Right. Yeah. That's why whenever backsliding season come around, it just, it, it's more than just one person that leaves. Right. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because that's that person with that 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 uh, that wicked and unreasonable spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. They get with those that think just like them. Yeah. That's right. Amen. So they get with those that think just like them. Yeah. Um, when Satan was kicked out of heaven, Hallelujah. His tail came a crown. Amen. Hallelujah. And it took a third of the stars. It took a third of the angels with him. Yeah. Right. When Satan raised up. Hallelujah. He looked around. Amen. Yeah. He's seeking whom he may devour yeah. as a roaring lion. He know who to go to. Uh, yes. Amen. I said he know who to go to. Yes. Hallelujah. He know who to go to. Yes. Amen. Amen. So there's some things that's going on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Huh? I said some things that's going on. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And the saying avoiding certain, uh, uh, avoiding the bishops. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said avoiding the bishops. Yes. But they know who to go to. Amen. So I told a, a, a pastor, I said, if he dare, you tell him. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. You tell him that you, 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 that you avoiding all the others. Huh? Right. Yeah. Yeah. You avoiding all the others, but choose a go to you. Right. There's something wrong there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
that there's something wrong there. Apparently, you're not walking with the same spirit as the other bishop. There's something wrong there. Amen. Amen. That's right. That's right. Yes, it is. Amen. There's something wrong there. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Read it. For yourselves, know how you ought to follow us. Uh huh. For we behave not ourselves. For yourselves, know how you ought to follow us. Amen. Uh huh. For we behave not ourselves. For we behave not us. ourselves disorderly among you. Amen. Yes. Amen. You know the men of God that's standing upright. Hallelujah. 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 And that we do not uh, behave ourselves disorderly among you. Amen. Hallelujah. You know that we stand here. Hallelujah. And we preach the word of God to you, to exhort you, how to, to strengthen you. Yes. Amen. Those are the ones you need to look at. How to look, look at them. I was telling the sister, I said, look at Mother Washington. Right. I said, look at a hold on to her. Amen. Right. Right. Hold on to her. Yes. Don't look at those that may be weak right. because Satan is fighting against you. Yes. You hold, look, look at mothers up, Mother Washington. Look how she's conducting herself. Yes. Keep counseling with her. Right. Amen. I promise you, you will receive what you need. Yes, yes sir. Read it. Neither did we eat any man's bread for nothing. He said, neither did we eat any man's bread for naught. Amen. Uh-huh. But work with labor and hardship mm -hmm. night and day. Yes, sir. That we might not be chargeable to any of you. Yes, sir. Not because we have not See, power. Those that do do the right thing, you have you have no ought against us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because we lift up a perfect example of how you should be. Amen. There's nothing you 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 can't judge us uh, uh, based off our wrongdoings. And that's how all bishops should be Amen. in this house of Yahweh. Amen. All right, so that's how all bishops should be. Amen. 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 So the, uh, in the dream, he was said there was a bishop that was standing before, and then the individual that was before him changed him. Right. Yes. Right, and so when he came into the house of Yahweh under big bishop, he got real quiet. Uh, yes. Amen. He got real. He he, he stopped talking. Yes. Amen. All that signify you you doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. Right. Yes. Huh? You doing something that you ain't supposed to be doing? You talk about that which you ain't supposed to be talking about. See, the spirit knows all things. It's always warning before destruction. Amen. Huh? And that's why they have a problem with the prophets. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. It's nothing new underneath the sun. Yes, sir. Read it. Not because we have not power. Not because we have not power, but to make ourselves an example. But to make ourselves an example to you to follow us. To, but to make ourselves an example for you to follow. Amen. Uh, come on now, keep looking at the upright. Amen. Keep looking at the perfect man in here. Amen. Hallelujah, you sisters. Keep looking at those women, wives that are virtuous, not the ones that's not virtuous. Hallelujah, you look at them. Amen. Husbands, you look at the bishops here. Amen. The ones that loving their wives the right way. Look at that example. That's right. That's right. Yes, sir. Read it. For even when we were with you, uh huh. This we commanded you. Even when we was with thee, we this we commanded you that if any would not work, uh -huh. say eat. Yes, sir. For we for we hear that that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Yes, sir. Working not at all. Uh huh. But our busybodies. Yes, sir. Now them that are that are such, we command and exhort by our Lord Yahshua the Messiah. Yes, sir. That we're quiet as they work. Mm hmm. Need their own bread. Read it. But you brethren. But you brethren. Be not weary. Be not weary. And no and well, and well doing. doing. Uh huh. Amen. Yes. And if any man obeys not our word. He said, if any man obey not our word. By this epistle. By this epistle. Note that man. Note that man. And have no company with him. Note that man. Yes. Amen. And have no company with them because they, they it's possible they can change your conduct. Right. That's right. That's right. It's possible they can change your spirit. Yes. That dream, hallelujah, don't run after the wicked. Hallelujah. Right. Uh, hallelujah. Note you're supposed to note that man. And have no not run after him. Hallelujah. Not be just like him. It said have no company with them. Amen. With the uh what the with the unrighteous fruits of darkness. Yes. Amen. Yes, sir, read it. Note that man. Uh huh. You have no company with him. Read it. That he may be ashamed. That he may be ashamed. Yet count him not as an enemy. Mm -hmm. See, this is how you're going to help him. Yeah. Amen. Amen. This is how you're going to help anybody that may be weak in here. Right. Hallelujah. That want to walk disorderly. There was a time, amen, uh, when uh, Evangelist Davis and Evangelist Childers, they with, uh, withdrew themselves from me. Amen. Not from me, but all the brothers. Amen. Those are only two brothers that decided to go ahead and step up as he came in. Evangelist Tilda saw what was going on, hallelujah, and grabbed Evangelist David's coattail. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, they withdrew themselves from us. Yes. Amen, and after a while, it put us to shame. 
caused me to begin to think, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hearing how my father would praise them, acknowledge them as his son. Here I am in the house. This is before I went away. I'm in the house. I have his blood. Amen. But the way that they chose to walk, hallelujah. Amen. It puts you to shame. So when you do the right thing, don't you know it put one another to shame here? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when y'all have y'all sister meeting, amen, and one speak up, talk about what they doing for their wife. I mean, their husband, rather. Right. Amen. <laughs> we ain't talking about that. <laughs> amen. It puts you to shame. Yeah. Cause, cause you don't want to change. Yeah. Um, when, that, when, that, when, that, when that word went forth about being virtuous, mm -hmm. um, my sister-in-law, she reached out to my, my wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, because what was heard about what my wife was doing, it put her to shame. She said, well, I need to start doing this. I need to start doing that. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why it's very important you stand up and be strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't allow what you see cause you to not want to perform. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. Read it. Yeah, count them not as an enemy. And count them not as an enemy. That's what you were speaking about your son. Yeah. Well, we're not going to count you as an enemy. Right. Amen. Hallelujah. And we still love you. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We still love you, but withdrawing ourselves cause you to think a little bit. Amen. Amen. We don't talk much. Hallelujah. It was time that my father, he get real quiet. Oh, yeah. Amen, huh? Yeah. Uh, uh, brother, brother Stephen, when he was coming to service, yeah. you know, he wanted love to get up there and sing. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. One, one doing the right thing, yeah. walking disorderly, yeah. would love to sing. So we come together in love again and all that. He'll get up and grab the microphone. My father be over there just sitting down. Amen. 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 Sitting down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Cause you look over there and be ashamed but you know you're not doing what the spirit told you to do yeah, right. amen this is, how can I praise Yahweh when you're not doing what the spirit told you to do yeah, right. amen hallelujah how can I praise Yahweh so in, even in the dream huh, the pastor Riddle said that he put his hand out and he wanted to say praise Yahweh but he could not do it he couldn't find himself to do it when you walk this orderly it's hard hallelujah yeah. I can't praise Yahweh with you I can't rejoice hallelujah because there's a spirit within you Amen. There's a spirit within you. You being disobedient is taking away the glory. You take it away. You you taking the power away. Amen. Mm -hmm. He had enough of that. Amen. He said, "You come here. I don't want you grabbing a microphone." Amen. And this is what he shared with him recently. Mm -hmm. I don't want you getting up there singing a single note. I don't want you to move the, the, I don't want you behind the sound booth. Stay out of the booth. Amen. Put him to shame. Yes, Lord. All right, either one or two things are going to happen. He's going to change or he's going to leave. Amen. All right, well, he left. Amen. Now, all he had to do was just repent and walk right. Amen. You have to, yes, if you want to be active in the ministry, you have to cease from sin. Amen. Hallelujah. The Spirit may be patient with you for a while. Yeah. Uh, after way I can, I don't know, no more of this. Amen. Hallelujah. Right. No, no more of this. Mm, apparently, you think this is all right. No more of this. Just, uh, uh, Apostle Watch, he began to doctrinize a little bit more out there. Hallelujah. In Mexico. Yeah. Amen. He began to doctrinize a little bit more out there in Mexico, saying, no more of this. Yeah. Uh, because apparently, they want, they want act to the teaching. Uh, sometimes, you know, we can be that, the exact same way. Uh, that's why we need your prayer, amen, because some of us are going to be so unreasonable in here. You can continue to fight against the truth. You're not apt to the teaching. Mm -hmm. So you begin to open it up a little bit more. Huh? Uh, and you start talking about the Antichrist, amen? Huh? About a dog going back licking up his vomit. Huh? Trying to make sin so ugly so you can acknowledge the ways about yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Huh? Make it seem exceedingly sinful. Um, that's, that's the only way some of us will renounce, amen, our ways. That's right. That's right. That's so true. Because all men have not faith. Hallelujah. That's why I spoke about the young man, Felix, and his wife. Hallelujah. They heard the gospel when they came to me. Hallelujah. Huh? I said, He heard the gospel when he came to me. I want to know more, prophet, huh, how to handle this. He said, Because I acknowledge in my family there's many wicked spirits. How can I handle this? Hallelujah. He said, Because I want to be just like you and your wife. How y'all stood on the word concerning your own children, huh, professing the gospel unto those that do not know this thing. Amen. Huh? A workman needed not to be ashamed. Amen. 
Right. You don't open up your mouth, you know you'll be ashamed of this thing here. Yes. Uh, we don't want to put your foot down for righteousness. Uh, that's why he said something might be your family. You scared to open up your mouth to your own family? A workman, hallelujah, you rightly dividing this thing here. Not being the same of the gospel. Amen. You put your foot down. Uh, that's why you said what you said, Apostle Hurley, concerning your job situation. I'm not going to hell and, 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 and acknowledge you for what you want to be acknowledged as. Amen. All that, that, that just make you feel even more comfortable to remain the way that you are. I can't shoot the hand of an evil door. Yeah. You can't do that. I'm sorry, uh, 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 Miss Jackson, you want to be a mister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. <laughs> Only some of y'all caught that. <laughs> Hallelujah. I got to stand on the word. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. Yeah, count him not as an enemy. He said, but count him not as an enemy. But admonish him as a brother. But admonish him as a brother. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's what we do. Amen. We did it strong. If you're in our presence, huh? we're going to admonish you as a brother. We're going to always remind you how you're supposed to be. I'm not, I'm not going to mistreat you. Hallelujah. I know that Jeremiah, he thought that he thinks that I hate him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I told him, I said, brother, it's not that I don't, I don't hate you. Hallelujah. I do not hate you. I love you. Um, but I want you, every time you're in my presence, I want you to acknowledge the, the, the wrong of your actions. Amen. I want you to return back. Amen. And come on back into the house of Yahweh. Get back on your post. I want you to feel the same when you're in my presence. And that's why many people avoid Apostle Washington. Mm, he come around, they run, they get up out of here. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. As you know, you and I have to have the same testimony. Amen. Anybody that backslide, they too comfortable around you. There's something in you that they see mm, Amen. that makes them feel comfortable to, to remain the way that they are. Amen. Yes, Lord. That's true. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, right. you, you have to prove your own works. Amen. I have to prove. I have to prove mine. Dealing with my own cousin and my own brother. Um, but quite some time they were always comfortable around me. And here I am. I say I serve the Lord. I'm here. I'm hearing it. Hallelujah. I want them to change around me, but I have to change something in me. Hallelujah. That caused them to change around me. So whenever they are in my presence, they get to talking. Hallelujah. And I can see that the, a, a curse word might want to slip out. They put their hand over their mouth. There's something that I'm doing. There's something that you have to do. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. Now the Lord of peace himself. That the Lord of peace himself. Give you peace always. Uh-huh. By any means. Yes, by sir. all means. Yes. The Lord be with you all. Uh-huh. The salutation of Paul. Yes, sir. With my own hand. Mm-hmm. Which is a token in every epistle. Yes, sir. So I write, the grace of our Lord, your the Messiah, be with you all. Amen. Go on over to Romans 8. I say Romans, I meant to say Hebrews. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah Romans 8. The first verse. Romans 8, 35. Amen. Romans 8 and 35, for it is written, mm -hmm. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? Amen. Once again, saints, hallelujah. hallelujah. Um, there's going to be things that we're going to see, hallelujah, things that we're going to hear. Amen. Thing is that, based off the actions of some, you know, Pastor Paul, I believe he said that, uh, uh, what if some did not believe? Amen. Amen. Will they unbelieve make the word of God be without effect? He said, God forbid. Amen. Let God be true in every man alive. He said, but your faith is going to have to be tested. Hallelujah. Your faith is going to have to be tested on this journey here. And so there's many things in this life that would cause us to want us be, uh, to separate ourselves from the love of the Messiah. Yes, sir. Read it. Who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? He said, who shall separate us from the, from love, the love of the Messiah? Of the Messiah. Amen. Huh? 
Who shall separate us? Man of God, he spoke about family. Huh? Uh-huh. Amen. He spoke about friends. Hallelujah. 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 And even in here, there's people that, 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 that will cause you to want to separate yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, they leave. Amen. And uh, what I'm going to do now? Hallelujah. I'm going to give up. Right. Amen. Uh-huh. If your faith has to be built up, yeah. we know that those in New Mexico, they say, they told Sister Shanir, if you leave, then you know I'm going to leave. Uh-huh. Amen. Of course, we acknowledge that they are babes in this way here. Amen. They're going to have to learn to put their trust, not in Yeshua. I mean, uh, uh, Shanira. Shanira. But in Yeshua. Yeah. Similar words, huh? Amen. Huh, but put their trust in Yahshua and his words and allow his words to keep them, not Shanira. Amen. 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 So once again, who shall separate us from the love of the Messiah? From the love of the Messiah. It's our tribulation. Shall tribulation. You know, there's many things that one of, that we all are faced with. Right. Yes. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hallelujah. Well, your tribulation caused you to want to give up. Caused you to finally say, you know, I'm sick and tired of this. Amen. Sick and tired of this. Hallelujah. There's many things that cause you want to give up. I was sharing with the brother how went after I had the dream. And I said, you're not the only one that gets sick and tired of things. And as long as we draw breath, we're going to get sick and tired of suffering. Amen. Huh? You're going to get tired of suffering, but if you're going to suffer, it says it's better for you to suffer for well-doing than evil-doing. So you're going to suffer regardless. But I don't know, I don't know who came up with this idea to think that the day you leave this house of Yahweh that you're going to stop suffering. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. Haven't seen it yet. Still going to suffer. The fa- yeah, the sword follows you now. And so if you're going to suffer, it's better for you to suffer for well-doing than evil-doing. So I was sharing with him. I said, yeah, we all get tired. Oh, yeah. So there's days when you get up, you just don't want to fight Satan. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel no spirit at all. Right. Yeah, so you, I'm, I'm so sick and tired of this, and I, I just can't do it no more prophet. Uh-huh. I said, I, I know how you mean, how you feel. Right. Amen. I said, but I'm going to share with you the difference between how I'm talking, amen, and how you talking. Right. I said, this is what I, I've been faced with, dealing with spirit dreams. I said, I got tired of taking those vehicles to the, uh, the shop. I got tired of fixing a vehicle after another because of certain mistakes. Right. Huh? Some things are just happy because of where it's at. Some things happen because of carelessness. Right. I said, I got tired of that. I got tired of, of having to move money here and there. I got tired of giving the, the same instructions over and over and over. Right. And when they're going to learn. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I, I got tired of uh, 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 seeing uh, that this money could, be, could, could, could contribute more to my family and the work of the ministry. Right. Huh? Amen. To both fixing this and fixing that. And to the point, Satan came to him and said, you know what? Go ahead and fire him. Fire him all and just keep a select few. Amen? Amen. Tell the Apostle Washington that the work of the ministry is going to have to cease. That he's going to have to come on back and find. This is what Satan was telling me. Yes, because remember, it's given unto Satan to make war with us. And he's, he's able to overcome you if you allow him, but you have to speak the word. You have to allow the word to make your thoughts clear. Yes. Amen. Amen. To clean up the impure thoughts that you may have. He said, I'm cleansed by the words which he has spoken unto me. Yeah. Hallelujah. So while he was talking, I had to talk to him. Yeah. And I had to rebuke Satan. I had to put him underneath my foot. Amen. Yeah. I said, that's the difference from how I'm talking yeah. and how you talking. Yeah. I said, the sad thing about it is that you once spoke like this. Uh-huh. Huh? What hindered you that you should not obey the truth? Yeah. You did run well. Who shall separate you? Yeah. I said, so you faced with a tribulation. And I said, I'm faced with a tribulation. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm faced with a tribulation, but I've got the victory over mine. What you going to do? Amen. Amen. What you plan on doing? So he said, therefore, shall tribulation, shall tribulation or the stress. Uh, sometimes we just get tired of it. Huh? Yeah. Hey, man, we get tired of it. Yeah. Tribulation or the stress or the stress or persecution. I mean, you're just getting all stressed out. huh? When you, you forget that the Lord is your peace. Amen. Amen. So that's why I had to learn. I said, I just give it over to the Lord. Amen. I, I said I gave all of it over to the Lord. Yeah. Amen. So when a, another situation had happened with it, amen. I, hallelujah. I, I said, look, you are my peace. Right. I said, go on, take it on up there. Right. Amen. amen. Go on, take it up over there. Get it, get fixed. And that was the end of it. Amen. <laughs> that was the end of it. I learned to take all my problems to the Lord. Yeah, right. amen. Distress 
or persecution or persecution or famine uh, the things that pe people uh, uh, rise up against you right. Amen. Amen. they do you wrong yes, right. especially with husband and wives in here Amen. Amen. wife can persecute the husband the husband can persecute the wife You'd be surprised. That's why, you look around. That's why some husbands aren't here. Amen. Amen. That's why some wives are not here. Amen. It said, who shall separate to your husband? Just might be that one to get you out the spirit. Right. That's right. Your wife might just be the one to get you out the spirit. Your children. That's why the arms got cut off on the kids. Amen. Yes, Amen. The things that you don't want to put up with no more. Right. That's what he uses against you. You think you can run away? Uh huh. The song, the, the, the song said, "Don't run away, cause the trials are gonna find you." Amen. Yes, they will. All God's children go through things. Don't worry, it will be all right. Amen. Just dry your eyes. I'm not gonna cry. Just dry your eyes. Take the time after what? Pray. See, we stop praying. Mm, so I was telling them, I said, you stop praying. Mm? I said, these kinds here only come out by prayer and fasting. You stop praying. You stop fasting. Mm? Now here come persecution. Here come tribulation. Here come stress. Amen. All these things that separate you. Stop praying and fasting and start complaining. And the more you complain, it leads up to, I can't do this no more. Want to give up on the most high. Yes, sir, read it. Or persecution. For persecution. Or famine. Or famine. Or nakedness. Or nakedness. Some of us get all out the spirit because we go with that. Amen. Don't have this. Don't have that. Naked. The spirit of coverage just come in. Amen. You become envious and get all out the spirit. You allow this to separate you. Hey Amen. You take a job that you, you weren't supposed to take. Mm -hmm. Because now you want to start living for the world. You'd be surprised at things that separate us. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Or nakedness. Or nakedness. Or pearl. Or pearl. Or sword. Or sword. It don't matter what danger you may be in. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just because you face with something, don't mean you get the, get the cussing and all that. Mm -hmm. We don't fight. That's pearl. <laughs> Amen. Uh, we don't fight. That's pearl. Huh? Yeah. You better get the running. Hallelujah. Run. Flee. And you read about it in the scripture, they flee to another city. Amen. Amen. Uh, you, you can't allow that type of stuff. Amen. People get upset and want to do, do harm to you. Amen. It's real easy to get out of the spirit. I'm going to share something with you. This was Sister Arlene and I. We had made a delivery. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And uh, uh, as far as uh, uh, tribulation and our goals. It could have been real easy for us to get out the spirit and, 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 and handle things the way the world want to handle it. So we made a delivery and it was a two-man load. We get over there. It was three rugs that we had to uh, bring into the house, break down, lay them out. That was our job. And they instructed us. Uh, uh, the broker said, well, y'all are not there to move any furniture and all of that. All y'all going to do is just lay it out. So we go in and pull Arlene I actually had the wrong person with me. Thank Yahweh for it. <laughs> that stuff was too heavy. It beat, it beat her up so bad. I felt so, I felt so bad. I ain't never seen a sister sweat that hard. <laughs> never sweat that hard. But anyhow, so we, we laid out the rug down in the, in the living room. We had to take one upstairs. And mind you, each one of these rugs weigh about maybe 220. So you imagine me and her trying to take that up the stairs. 220. We get, it, we get it up there, though. Get up there and put the last one in the room. And so they all upset because we're not putting our hands to the furniture, this, that, and the other. They charge us not to. So I'm getting a little impatient because I got other jobs we need to get to. And they take it forever. Some that person took 30 minutes, took two hours. Yes, sir. So I'm getting a little impatient. Said, Lord, we got to get to this other stuff. We stuck over here. So I said, you know what? Just out of the kindness of my heart, I know that we're not supposed to because they're not going to pay us extra for this. So let me go on step on. Let me help you. So I'm grabbing the bed. We move this over here. Pick this up. Move it over there and all that. Amen. So we leave. 15 minutes later, broke a call. Talking about they said that the customer said this is the worst white glove delivery that they ever received. And said that we didn't do anything. All we did was just bring it in the house and let them unwrap it. Let them carry it up the stairs. 
that they moved all the furniture, this, that, and other. They down talks with Arlene. Amen. Yeah, I wanted to fight. <laughs> I was upset. I wanted to defend myself. Amen. Hallelujah. But with the broker said, I know what type of man you are. Amen. Amen. Said, you don't have to say anything. I know the type of man that you are. I know that they are upset because y'all didn't help them move all that furniture. That's what they was upset about. Um, but based on what your face, it can cause you to want to slip and want to get upset and, 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 and forsake the Messiah just for that small instance. Amen. That quick. Hallelujah. So we, we both couldn't allow that to separate us. Hallelujah. Amen. From the love of the Messiah. Let's read and finish it. As it is written. Uh huh. For your sake, we are killed all the day he said, long. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed. Don't you know that we are killed all, all the, the day, day long? long? Huh? Pastor Paul said that I die daily. You're killed all the day long. Amen. Amen. That's not a break when you come alive. Right. Hallelujah. Right. Well, I shouldn't say when you stay alive. He said, because you're killed all the day long. Because his flesh want to come up and want to rise up. Yeah. Amen. As soon as you take your eyes off the Lord and what you've been uh, receiving the teaching here, yeah. when you do something that you're not supposed to be doing. Uh -huh. So we are killed all the day long. Amen. Uh-huh. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Amen. Uh-huh. Knowing all these things. He said, nay, in all these things. We are more than conquerors. See, we are, it don't matter what you're faced with. Amen. And that's why we're sharing with the individual. It don't matter what you're faced with. We all go through things. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, well, we all go through things. So is the Messiah suffering. Right. Hallelujah. So those are things that we have to suffer. Amen. Yeah. But the thing is that we're all, we're more than conquerors. It don't matter what you're faced with. We're more than conquerors in here. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's read it. You are more than conquerors through uh -huh. him that loved us. Through him that loved us. Amen. Amen. For I am persuaded. I'm persuaded. That neither death. Yes, sir. Nor life. Mm, see, don't lose your persuasion. Right. Mm, I was sharing with the individual huh, that you, you lost your confidence. Right. Mm. Amen. You're being persuaded by something else. Amen. Amen. But well, you have to be fully persuaded huh, that neither death nor life. See, it don't matter what you're faced with. Uh, neither death, Sister Ray Ray, she was faced with death. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah in her life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, but you go back and listen to her testimony. She's still speaking with joy. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 She's still thanking Yahweh. Hallelujah. Some people let death get all out the spirit. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. You hear about my mother's situation, uh, her testimony dealing with my brother when he got shot. Amen. How she kept her composure. My father, he stayed. Certain people, we allow certain things that we hear. Oh, Lord! Hmm? Run up out of here as if you have the power to change the situation. Can't do nothing. Amen. Amen. So you have to be persuaded that neither death nor life. Nor life. Mm -hmm. It don't matter what you have, what you build for yourself. Mm -hmm. Some people are so caught up in life. Amen. Um, so caught up in life trying to have things. Trying to build something, amen. amen. Uh, that amen. they forget all about the most high. And that's why the spirit was pushing about sports and all that dealing with the young children. Right. And you won't grow up knowing the praise of the Lord, nor his strength. Amen. You won't learn to put your hope in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it goes with, for anything that we that we try to make for ourselves here. Yeah. Right. Amen. He that try to save his life, you shall lose it. Hallelujah. If you try to save your life, you shall lose it. Amen. All right. Father was sharing with a, a brother out there. He said, you can't serve both God and mammon. And that's part of the one of the reasons that, uh, that, that you've been persuaded otherwise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Read it. For I'm persuaded that neither death, uh -huh. nor life. Yes, sir. Nor angels. Nor angels. Amen. Hmm? Nor angels. Nor principalities. Nor principalities. Nor powers. Nor powers. Nor things present. Nor things present. Nor things to come. The stuff that you face with. Amen. I love how Apostle Paul put it. He said, even angels. Amen. Yeah. He stayed fast here. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. He understand. Hallelujah. There may be some things that are extremely great. <laughs> hallelujah. But he said, I'm not going to allow this to separate me. Amen. He said, no, nor things present, the things that you're faced with, huh? Things that's right happening right now. Huh? Things that's happening right now. Things right now for Elder Andre is not as pleasing uh, to him. Huh? He lost both his vehicles. <laughs> Amen. Body just acting up left and right, yes. cause him to where he can't work. I, and I, I put him in, in a van, hallelujah, so that he can work. But body is just just yes. failing him, if you will. Yes. Un, nothing things present, right. mm, the things that you're faced with now, you can't allow it to separate you. Amen. And that's why I thank y'all for your testimony that you shared with me. 
Hallelujah. And you can't you can't help the spirits and the thoughts that you wrestle with. Um, but you can't help how you handle it. Yeah. Amen. So he was he said he was uh communing with Yahweh and he wanted to complain why this and why that. Yeah. Amen. But then he began to just thank Yahweh. He said, Yahweh, you want some glory. Hallelujah. I, I thank you for what I'm going through. Amen. 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 You never know what Yahweh would do. Huh? You never know what Yahweh would do. Yes, yes, sir. Nor things present. Nor things present. Nor things to come. Nor things to come. Why trouble yourself with that stuff that is unseen? Amen. Huh? Isn't today's problems are sufficient? Right. And let tomorrow's troubles take care of itself. Amen. I had to learn that. Amen. Yeah. I had to learn uh, 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 to let tomorrow's troubles take care of itself. Amen. You know, we know with spirit driven, some days are busier than others. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. And I have so much love for those that employ it. It's like me trying to, you know, make things happen for work here and there and all that. Yeah. And that's a season Yahweh bless. And sometimes, you know, he allowed things to happen the way that they happen. So I have to learn to, 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 to allow today's troubles to be sufficient. Give Yahweh glory. And why trouble myself for stuff that, that, I, that is unseen? Huh? Yeah, as long as I love them, I know that all things are going to work together for them that love the Lord. Amen. And work to, for the good to them that love the Lord. I love the Lord. I love the ministry. I know that he's all in it. Amen. Today, uh, DJ said, this show seems a little slow today. I said, it's not. I said, we done did 25 jobs. What? We did 25 loads a day. Now, of course, you didn't do all 25. That's why it may seem like it's slow to you. <laughs> but 25, Yahweh blessed the day. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, read on. Nor height. He said, nor height. I don't care how high it is. Amen. Now, sometimes we face things and it's just, Lord, how I'm going to get over this? Amen. Amen. How I'm going to get over this? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, I said, how I'm going to get over this? I, can't, I don't have the strength to climb this. Amen. Just be patient. Don't fret yourself. Don't trouble yourself because of the situation that's before you. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Read it. No height. No, uh huh. Nor depth. I don't care how deep it is. Amen. Amen. I say, I don't care how deep it is. Yes, sir. Nor any other creature. Nor any other creature shall be able to separate us. And any other thing that I may face in Amen. this time shall separate me from the love of the Yahweh, from the love of the Messiah. Which isn't the Messiah, Yahshua, our Lord. And see, you have to uh, 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 ask yourself, where does your heart stand? Amen. Um, where is your love? Where is it placed? Yes. Amen. 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 You can never misplace your love for the Messiah. Because you're going to need it to be able to go through your trials and tribulations. We can't do nothing without the Messiah. Amen. And as soon as you take your eyes off of him, amen, uh, that's when you set yourself up for failure. Amen. You will set yourself up for failure every time. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, saying, I say, let's be strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, because, you know, we, 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 we feed off one another. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mm, so let's be strong in here. Hallelujah. So we can help aid our brothers and sisters over in, in, in Lubbock as well as Mexico. Hallelujah. Yes. But that's all the Spirit has given me to share with you all this night. I pray that we all took it to our heart. <laughs> Amen. And uh, definitely keep Apostle Washington in prayer out there in Mexico. And uh, whatever bishop that may be traveling to Lubbock this weekend um, um, to, to edify the body out there in Lubbock. But at this time, let's all rise and receive Brother Chris by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah. Praise Yahweh. I want to thank Yahweh for the words that came from the mouth of Apostle Hurley and Prophet Washington. Let's all take heed what was spoken tonight. Amen. It's all rise and get ready for our tithing and offering. Thank you, Father. All right. Oh, Heavenly Father, Yahweh, we pray to your precious Son's name, Yeshua the Messiah. We thank you, Yahweh, for being a provider. We thank you for, again, for the day that wasn't promised to us, Father Yahweh, you, Father. that we give back to you for the work of the ministry, that you bless it a hundredfold. Yes, Lord. For the work that's going on in Mexico, Father Yahweh. You. We pray to your precious son's name, Yeshua Messiah. Amen. Amen. Turn the hands on to the ushers. Burden 
is then Glory, glory Hallelujah Since I laid my burden down Glory, glory remind us uh saints uh our fundraiser ask for donations is saturday off of camp wisdom and 360 at 8 a.m also uh we'll be having quite the youth choir practice sunday after service as well as the um little flock choir practice and i think they're also having play practice after service on sunday and the youth uh fellowship uh we'll be having a fellowship for the youth saturday at 11 a.m. Um, so give it a little bit of time after the fundraiser um, to head up to the church for the, the youth. Amen. Amen. Any more announcements? Amen. Anybody who need prayer, come forth and a brother will anoint your head. Pray for you. Amen. Let's rise and let's pray out. Oh, Heavenly Father Yahweh, we pray to your precious sons and never shown us side. We ask Yahweh to watch upon Apostle Washington and the saints in Mexico, Father Yahweh, the sisters and brothers, Father Yahweh. Also watch out for the brothers here, Lubbock and Mexico. All together, Father Yahweh, just watch them because we are the adversary, the devil. He's all like a royal lion. He's trying to devour us, Father Yahweh. Protect us from all, har all hurt and harm, Father Yahweh. Those who are sick, Father Yahweh, touch and heal them, Father Yahweh. Give them the faith that they need, Father Yahweh. Strengthen their faith. We thank you for all things. Oh, give thanks to unto Yahweh, for he is good. Bless his mercy and do it forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy do it forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy do it forever. Let them that fear Yahweh say that his mercy do it forever. So you should decide we all, all the church say amen. Hallelujah.